and welcome to this session of Microsoft Excel. My name is Kyle Pugh. Now, what I'm going to introduce you to here is a brand new feature that Microsoft will be introducing to the latest release of Microsoft Excel. These may not be inside of your copy of Excel just yet. Microsoft released them to the beta edition, which the Windows Insiders get access to. So, if you've got Windows Insider and you've signed up for that, you're going to have these new functions. But if not, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Microsoft is still tweaking them. But these are so cool and so exciting what they can do that I just couldn't hold them back and I had to share them with you. Now, these are new functions and we're going to take a look at a couple of them. There's actually a handful of them. But during this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of a couple of my favorite ones. And then I'll put out some later videos about the other new features that Microsoft will be introducing to the latest release of Microsoft Excel. Now, before we get into these functions, there's a concept that I want to get into, and it's called arrays. And I'm just going to touch upon it just briefly. Now, if you're enrolled in my Microsoft Excel advanced functions with index and match, then you're familiar with arrays. But I'm going to give you a quick little introduction here, make sure we're all on the same level playing field, and then we'll get into what these new functions are all about. Because arrays are really the foundation of these new features. So take a look. So open in front of you, I've got an example file. This is what I'm going to use, and I'm going to provide it with this video so you can download it and you can test out your new knowledge with these new features as well when you get these new functions. So. Here we go. So first off, an array. Now, an array in any application, in any programming language, it's really the same thing. It's a collection of data. Now, an array could be a single column of data. Right here, I've got an employee ID column, and that's an array of data. The first thing inside of that array currently, inside of A1, is the value imp ID. The second thing is the value 1054 and so on. I've got a column of data or an array of data. Now, or an array could also be multiple rows and multiple columns. So like this right here, I've got a collection of data or an array of data. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns and multiple rows all the way down to row 20 that I can see there. So there's a collection of data or an array of data. Now, the reason why I want to start out with that is these new functions that we're about to mess around with here are dynamic array functions. So imagine this, and this is a question that I get asked all the time. If you go into the Q&A section of my courses, you're going to see people asking this over and over and over again. They've got a list, and now they want to be able to get all the unique values from one of these columns. Perhaps they want to get all of the unique departments from the department column. Right now, we can see that each department repeats multiple times. There's AT multiple times. Now, let's see. Here's an MF. There's an MF. Got any more in there? There's more if I scroll down. Let's see. There's a few ACs. There's an AD. There's an AD. There's an AD. So it repeats multiple times. But now I want to be able to get just a unique list of departments. Well, in the past, there was many different ways to do that. And one of the ways that I would reference people to do is create a pivot table and then group it by department. And then they'd have a column of the unique values of department or whatever column they were looking for. Well, we no longer have to do that. Now it's a simple function that's going to extract all the unique values from that column. Take a look. So I'm on the employee records worksheet. Over here inside the K column, I've got a new column that I've created there, just called it departments, just for our reference. I'm going to get my big fat head out of the way here. And right there inside of K2, I'm going to utilize one of these brand new functions that Microsoft will be introducing. So it's a function. So I'm going to say equals, and it's called unique. There it is right there, unique. I'll give that a double click. All right. Now, I'll say the unique function, it's got one, two, three arguments for us. You might recall in previous experience, the arguments with square brackets around them, such as by call and occurs once, those are optional. They've got some default values that go with them. So in reality, all we really need here is the array. 
the collection of data that we want to pull the unique values from. So with that one there, I'm gonna go over to D2. I'm gonna use a shortcut key. I'm gonna do Control, Shift, Down Arrow. That'll select that column all the way down to the empty row. And that's really all I need. If I scroll back up here just so we can watch this happen. Now this is exciting. I'm gonna hit my Enter key. And there's all the unique values. AT, AD, AC, SA, HR, MK, and so on. All through a single function called unique. And all I did was just specify which column I wanna pull the unique values from. That's it. How slick is that? There's one. That's one of the new features, one of the new functions that Microsoft has, uh, has or is going to be adding into Excel shortly, hopefully sooner than, sooner than later. Now let's take that a step further. I've got the unique values there. Now I could potentially use that instead of a, de a data validation list. So let's try this out. I'm gonna go over to the employees by department uh, worksheets. And here I've got a department column. So I can hop into here. I'm gonna to go to data, go into my data validation feature, and I'm gonna create a list. And my list, its source, I'm now gonna reference that new list of departments that I created utilizing the unique function. So I'll hit okay. And now I've got a nice little drop down there with all the unique departments. So I don't have to create some other fancy extravagant formula or create an, an extra pivot table, just utilize the unique function to pull all those unique values out. And now you got that nice little drop down utilizing the data validation feature. Now, another new function, and this one's neat. I mean, this one, I, I just, this is the one that really got me going with this video and I really wanted to show off. So I think Microsoft did an excellent job with this one. Now here, I wanna be able to filter the employee records, this list here, and I wanna be able to filter it by department. Now, you know that we could turn on the filters inside this worksheet. I can go to my data tab, filter, and I got my nice little drop downs, and I can start filtering by the department. Well, that's great, but now Microsoft has introduced a function that will filter your data based on a condition. So here, I'm gonna utilize the brand new filter function to be able to filter this set of data based on the department that I have here. All right, let's get my head out of the way. So I'm on the employees by department worksheets. I'm gonna to go to the employee ID here, and I'm gonna create a, a function. Equals, this one's called filter. So I'll give that a double click. This one's got one, two, two that are required, and if empty is optional. You can tell it what to do if it's empty, it doesn't return anything. So the first thing it wants to know is the array, the array of data that I want to filter. So here I'll go to employee records. I'm gonna grab from A2, control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow. I'm gonna grab that entire list, minus the headers there. Now, the next thing that it wants to know is include. Now, I think they can actually come up with a better word for that, but I wanna be able to filter this array of data and only include records where a specific condition is true. In my case, I wanna say, let's get all of the D column. What is that, D2, oh, you know what? I forgot something here, let's undo that. I need to get that entire list again. I forgot my comma in there. Let's try that one more time, equals filter. All right, let's go back and grab that entire table. Control shift down arrow, right arrow. Comma, I wanna get into the next argument there. And now I'm gonna grab the entire department column. Control shift down arrow. Now it says, okay, I wanna filter this array of data, A2 to H54, and include records where D2 to D54, the department column, is equal, I just typed in an equal sign there, go back to the employees by department, and I'll grab cell B3. So I only wanna get the records, I only wanna include the records where D2 to D4 on the other worksheet is equal to cell B3 right here. Now I can go comma, the last thing it wants to know is if it's empty, if it doesn't return anything, 
then I'm just gonna return two quotes, just an empty string, or I could return something like no records found or something like that. Now here's the magic. I'm gonna hit my enter key and it does it all for me. All right there. One little formula. What do you wanna filter? What do you wanna include? In this case, only where departments are equal to this cell right here and it grabs it all for me. So if I hop over to my little drop down that I created utilizing the unique function, I can now toggle and it will filter all of my records, all based on the employee records worksheet. Two little functions in there, right? And it created this nice little filter, something you have to do through multiple steps before, and it does it all for you. And you, as you saw, we could do this across different worksheets. You can do it in different workbooks. All right, now that's just two examples. And again, brand new features, you may not have them just yet instead of your copy of Excel. Uh, Microsoft released it to Windows Insiders, anybody that's signed up for that, um, but super slick, dynamic array functions. Now I've got some additional worksheets in here, so if you do have the functions, there's a few other things you can do. Uh, here I've got two columns where I utilize the unique function just to pull out division and category from this, work, uh, from this little table here. And then here, I can filter the data by two. Let's try it out one more time. So here, I'll say equals filter. Now what's the array? I wanna be able to filter a specific set of data. I'll come grab this, control shift down arrow, right arrow. There's my array, comma. But I wanna filter it where, in this case I have two criteria. I wanna filter where division is equal to a specific division and the category is equal to the specific division. This one's gonna be a little bit different because we have multiple criteria. Here, inside of the include argument, I'm gonna open up a parentheses and I'm gonna grab all of the division. And I wanna know if that is equal to this cell, I'm gonna close that parentheses, times or the multiplication symbol, open up another parentheses, but I also got to include the category column. I want to know if that is equal to this one. Then I'll close that parentheses. So here it's a little bit different because I got multiple criteria. But now I'm looking to see if A2 to A59 is equal to this cell, I3. And that's our little plus sign, is gonna, or excuse me, our little asterisk multiplication symbol is our AND operator. And I want to know if B2 to B59 is equal to this cell. Now I can close this off. I can say comma. And then inside the last argument, if it's empty, I'll do two quotes. Just I'm not going to return anything. And I'll close the parentheses. All right, here it comes. I'm going to hit my enter key. All right, it's West and it's telemarketing. Let's change this. Let's go to South. So now I got North. No, excuse me, I said no South. Now I got North with telemarketing. Let's change this to the rent. One little formula doing the filtering for us. Now these are just some, some little examples here and they're brand new features shortly coming out within, within the latest release of Excel, but they're really neat, very dynamic and doing all this work for us. Imagine the possibilities inside of dashboards. You think about that and combining this with other functions. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna supply this exercise file. You can, if you've got the filters, or excuse me, you got the functions, you can utilize them already. If not, hold on to the file, hold on to the video, and you can practice it when it comes out inside the later releases of Microsoft Excel, when Microsoft is ready to release it. All right, appreciate you joining me. Hopefully you picked up something pretty neat here, and get ready. It's only gonna get better inside of Microsoft Excel.